And finally, example six. And、uh, this problem is a little, a little bit strange. The price of box of a candy and the box of biscuits are thirty five dollars and forty dollars respectively. And Mr. Small wants to spend not more than four hundred dollars to buy a total of ten boxes of candy and biscuits, and she also wants to buy as many boxes of biscuits as possible. But the question asks us how many boxes of candy should she buy? But she wants to buy as many boxes of biscuits as possible. So we can just write down candy will be thirty five dollars for each box. And biscuits is forty eight dollars. And she want to spend less than four hundred dollars in buying biscuits and candies. So let's just let the number of boxes of biscuits,、uh, biscuits, B X. Since she wants to buy as many boxes of biscuits as possible. And then the number of boxes of candy will be ten minus x. And now we can find the total cost, which will be thirty-five times ten minus x plus forty x, and this should be less than four hundred dollars. And we can simplify this: three five zero minus thirty-five x plus forty eight x less than. Four hundred, and therefore the left hand side becomes thirteen x, and the right hand side will be fifty four hundred minus three five zero, and therefore x will be less than fifty over thirteen, and since x represents the number of biscuits she should buy, so we can write down let the number of biscuits. X, and now we can find that this is actually not a integer, but the the number of boxes of biscuits should be an integer. So X will be. So X will be. Three, since that、uh, this will be three point something. So, X should be at maximum equals to three. That is should should buy as. Most as three boxes of biscuits, and finally we can write down the number of boxes of candy. Number of boxes of candy will be ten minus three, which is seven boxes. 